This is the mode door motor for my 1996 240SX. I have a Japanese digital climate control in my car and for this to work pop properly I need to reverse the polarity of the servo motor that is in here. We're going to do that today by taking the servo motor out, flipping it around, um, reversing the polarity, and uh, reinstalling it. So here we are with the motor disassembled. Try not to um, break any of these gears in here. As you can imagine, they're not really easy to replace. And this is our servo motor here. So I'm going to take a soldering iron, and if you have it, great. Use some soldering wick to soak up the old solder. Otherwise, uh, just go ahead and let it melt and uh, let it fall over the place. Um, whatever works for you. I just find this to be a little bit less messy um, and ensuring that I have all of the old solder off so that way it's I, I won't risk breaking either of these contact points removing uh, these prongs. Once I have it loose I'm going to go ahead and wiggle this motor out of here uh, with the least amount of pressure I can possibly use so I don't break anything. Most of all of these parts for the 240SX are discontinued. So here I am uh, flipping it over. It has these two little screws on this bracket on the bottom. Just remove the screws and reverse the bracket and then put the motor back in place. In my particular case, my servo motor was marked by a red dot on the side that was closest to me when I first opened it and that red dot will now be furthest away. This bracket should put these these prongs exactly in the same spot that they were when you took it apart. It's just now the polarity is going to be reversed when your climate control sends a signal to this motor. And this will ensure that all of your vent functions will work properly. Another thing to note is I ended up taking some of the gears loose to help me free up the motor. The first time that you plug this into your car, make sure to go to whatever the first mode is on your digital climate control without this hooked up to the box that it is attached to in the car. The motor should move itself back to its default position. If it does not, pry that... Uh, teeter-totter um, lever that's on the back off of its its uh, spinal gear uh, put it on the um, the box and then set the motor on top of the uh, that I mean I guess teeter-totter is the best description I can give it you don't want to for force uh, the position of that uh, that lever um, because again it, the, the gears are plastic inside of this, so any kind of resistance it's going to meet, it will just break all the teeth off of the gears. Now that we got everything back in place, I'm just going to re-solder these pins to the motor. And as you can see, that red dot is closest to me now, whereas before it was on the opposite end. And this is this is fairly simple. You don't need too much. You just need to make sure that there's solid contact between that point and um, Same thing for the other side and then once you're all done uh, Just go ahead and slap everything back together and again uh, Word of caution uh, don't put this directly on your mode door box just yet plug it up first adjust all of the motor door positions and then once you find out where it starts and finishes, um, put it on the box accordingly after the fact. Otherwise, that's all you need to do to reverse the polarity of your mode door motor for your 240SX if you're doing a digital climate control install. Or I could have taken a multimeter and determined what pins um, matched and then just swapped the wires. This is the mode door motor.